Right, we're here with uh, base with Captain Matt Fornil. First of all, welcome back, mate. Cheers, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, nice break, to be fair. Yeah, spend some time with the family, get you to take your mind off football for a bit. That's what you need after a long season. So, yeah, it's been really nice. Obviously, first training session Tuesday. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was mainly ball work, to be fair. And then we've done a little run at the end. But, yeah, mainly ball work, which was quite good. You don't often get much balls seen the first couple of weeks when you come back. But yeah, um, it was a really good session. Obviously, normally a lot of continuity at Baseford, but obviously you being here now for two years, this is what your third manager playing underneath. Uh, how did the training differ from the other two? Um, well, like I said, there's a lot of ball work, so it's not often you come in on the first day and you see a lot of balls. But yeah, um, obviously new guy for Chets has come in. Uh, obviously, vast experience. Uh, as a player and a manager, so yeah, it's, um, it's a really good session it was. Obviously the chairman was watching on Tuesday night, so it was a well thought out um, session. Was he? I didn't even see him to be fair. <laughs> he, he's always hanging about, <laughs> mate, trust me, he's always watching. Um, obviously Chess has obviously I highlighted it, you know, the way he wants to play. Obviously you come from a similar background at Forest and stuff. And imagine that his style of play will suit your style of it, really. Yeah, he's not really spoke much of it so far. Obviously we've only had one session, so we'll get probably get to know the style that Chets wants to play, the more training diet, the more this uh, pre-season goes on and then the games start coming and then obviously we'll build, yeah, we'll build it on that so don't know too much yet but um, yeah so we'll go and let's see what happens in the next few weeks. Obviously a, a big plus point, obviously last season we just missed out on the playoffs, um, the majority of the squad stayed, obviously the back end of the season the squad seemed to mature. You can say, obviously, we look like a, a Leicester's team, not many uh, young ones in the squad, so we looked a lot stronger. Obviously, the majority of those have all stayed, and the, f the three players that we've added in Kane, Callum, and Josh, how do you feel they'll add to the squad? Yeah, well, um, saying that we had a really good start to the season, to be fair, we kicked on quite well, and obviously, we had our blip in January, and that kind of like ended our hopes of challenging for the title. But um, yeah, as if we, start, we finished off strong, um, Dom and Zerny doing well. Um, but yeah, we um, needed a couple of additions to the squad just to strengthen it a bit. And if any team that wants to go and do well in the in the league needs a good strong uh, strong squad, because obviously you're going to get your injuries and um, obviously people being ill, people going on holiday. I mentioned any names, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, you need a good uh, squad. I've heard a good, uh, few good few things about the new players that will come in, so they'll bring experience. They've played at this level before and higher. So yeah, they'll bring a lot of experience and hopefully that will help us go in the direction we want to go. Obviously the pre-season um, schedule is out there for everyone to see. You've got six, seven friendlies, strong friendlies. Um, obviously all teams are around our level, a uh, couple above. Obviously it gives a good test. Yeah, it's always good to play against teams at your level or above because it kind of like helps you out going into when you go into the league. Do you know what I mean? You play against better teams, you get more fitness out of it. But Obviously, you're not going to play against teams at that level when we're going to the league. So yeah, we're seeing good like shape for the pre and when the season starts. So yeah. Obviously, last season was a strong season. Um, some big clubs in there, some strong clubs. Reading Twitter most days, you know, all these big sides around seem to be signing this, that, and the other. How do you feel we'll fare against that this season? Um, yeah, this, I think the league will be a lot harder than last season. You got the likes of FC United, Ashton, who always do well at this level. And then obviously South Shields and Warrington are going to want to do kick on and do well again. I think Warrington, I think they lost out. That's twice they've lost out in the final of the playoffs the last couple of years. So they're going to want to do well. But you know, we're a big club with big admissions going in the right way. You know how the, what the chairman wants uh, from the club. He wants to be as high as possible, as quick as possible. So I think with the additions that we've got, I think we'll go on and at least challenge, hopefully get playoffs. So obviously off the field, um, obviously you've been there. Um, it's your third season here now, is it? Yeah, third, fourth. Um, You've seen the progression of the club so off the field. You know the attendances have been going up, you know, double up most seasons. And I'm listening to the chairman. Obviously, the season ticket seems to have quadrupled as well. So obviously, hopefully next season there'll be a bigger crowd as well. Yeah, it's always good to play in front of a bigger crowd. Uh, obviously, like I said, when the base was first started, I think it was only getting 50, 60 people on a park. So from where it's like come from, there's been a massive achievement. But the chairman don't want to stop there, he wants to keep pushing and pushing. Like I said, get as high as possible, as quick as possible. So if the uh, season tickets have doubled already, then that's good Good news for us. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Well, thanks so much. Cheers, Bob. Is that my note? Thank you. Ah.